Hey there, welcome back. In this video, we'll create a bottom sheet and expand it when we hit the done button. It should have a text field to edit the file name and we want to add two buttons, one for the cancel and one for the save button. So the bottom sheet is part of the material library. And since Android Studio version one or version 4.1.3, it comes with the default configuration. So check inside your Gradle module app file. You should have this line here. If you don't have it, then add it and sync the project. So the first thing, create a new layout for the bottom sheet. Here in the layout folder, new layout bottom sheet. Let's switch the main or the root element to linear layout and set the orientation to vertical and the height to raw content. Now, in order for the app to know it is a bottom sheet, you need to add a layout behavior attribute and set it to bottom sheet. Not below, but uh, behavior and select uh, string bottom sheet behavior. Okay. Now, inside of it, uh, first of all, let's add a text view with a little message Make it match parent and wrap content uh, for the text. Set it to question save record. Let's set the text size to 26 SP and text alignment to center. The next thing we need to add is the file name input. We'll use a text input layout match parent wrap content and inside of it let's add a text input edit text also wrap content uh, match parent wrap content close it give it an id name it file name input add some margin set it to 16 dp same thing for the padding 16 dp and we can see here that we have our input, but it's weird, I don't like it this way. I'd rather have some round corners and a stroke color. So to do this, I could add all the attributes here, but I'd rather create a style and just set the style attributes in this file to keep it clean. So set style to what we will be creating here in the theme, create a new style. Name it text layout style. Set the parent to material component text input layout outlined box. Let's add some items here. The first one is for the margin top and set it to 20 dB. Copy paste this line, switch from top to bottom, keep it with 20 dBs paste another line this one should handle the box background and set it to gray copy paste it and switch to box stroke color for this one we need to create a, another color so just copy and paste this here rename it to stroke color and set it to 1E88E5. E Let's go back here and change to stroke color. So if you head back there, nothing changed yet. Let's add the radius or the corners here. So the first one is um, box corner radius bottom start set it to 26 dp just copy paste this line and change from start to end now copy paste these two lines and switch from bottom to top same thing here and we should have it if we apply the style so let's select our style text layout style and 
we have our round corners. So we're done with this styling. Let's copy this and paste it inside the dock theme if you have one. Otherwise, just skip this step. Actually, in, it's another style and we should close it. Okay, now place to the buttons. We need two buttons. Let's put them inside a linear layout that match parent and wrap content. The first one is a material button because it's more customizable. Set the width to 140 and the height to 60. Also, let's add some text console for this one. Set the background color to gray, background tint actually, to gray and text color to gray dark so we can see it. Now some corner radius and set it to 26 dp. And finally the ripple color to gray dark too. Okay, now I get an ID and name it button console. Same thing for the OK button, just copy paste it and rename this to OK, change the text to OK and background tint to stroke color and text color to white. So now let's add some margin start to space them and set to 20 dp. Okay. In the linear layout, set the gravity to center and margin bottom to 80 dB. If you launch it, uh, this won't be have background, it would be transparent, so let's add a background. And since we don't have it yet, let's create it in the drawable, create a new resource file and name it uh, background round make sure it's a shape and give it a solid color set it to white then add some corners so i like to have the top corners rounded add top right radius and set it to 30 dp and then top left one to 30 GP, that's it, close it and add it here. Well, we're done with the bottom sheet. Now in the main activity layout, we need to add some changes. First, the bottom sheet behavior can only work inside a coordinator layout. So instead of a constraint layout, let's add a coordinator layout and copy paste everything put it inside then get the constraint layout attributes cut them put them here and then just copy the width and the height because we need it for the constraint layout now everything is just as before and here at the bottom we can add our layout the bottom sheet layout include and specify we want the bottom sheet and we have it. Now there is no clear distinction between the bottom sheet and the main activity. So let's add a view between them with a dark semi opaque background. View match parent and match parent. Give it an ID and call it bottom sheet background. For the color, let's add a new resource here. Copy, paste it here and call it opaque background and set the color to 61 and eight zeros or six zeros. Here set background to opaque background. And here we have it. Let's add some spacing between the text and the top. Open again the 
bottom sheet layout and here let's add some margin top and set it to 20 dp it's better so if you run this we should have the same exact view so that's it for this video and in the next one we will implement the right behavior to make it appear only when the done button is clicked then put the file name here and set some quick listeners on these buttons see you then